recovery need is not as big as it was. It's still there, of course, and we still need to look after that. But I think more the immune system based support became a complete new meaning um, around this virus. We have basic things, they are mainly the same for every player, but what we always have to keep in mind is like the playing position, their body height is different, their body composition is different, um, different ethnicities. So we try to be really individual around also playing minutes, um, how many meters did they run per game? What do we need to do to prepare them for the next game? Are we flying to different time zones? Will the climate change, for example? So there are a lot of different factors and we try to consider and try to individualize for, for the players. We have players, they reached out to us because the parents were simply over 70 and were asking for advice or what they can provide just to protect them and being preventive. And I think that's the two key points, protection and being preventive around immune system. So based on the fact that we play that much and the immune system is always a big factor in that, we had already good measures in place but of course, we try to use them even more just to provide even more support around that. In our menus and how we provide the dishes and the meals, the player always has to make a decision. So I think over the four years, we have simply installed a system where the player is always able to find something and learn for himself to know what is actually needed, what the body is craving for, how to organize the best recovery. So in this occasion, we don't need to monitor them because I think they are so well trained that they know what they do. So um, I think from a team perspective, we try and to monitor the essential things where we can actually interpret results as well and reach out to a player and say, all right, do you need some support? Do you need help? Can we change anything for you? So that's the positive monitoring system, what we are doing. Our, our lovely manager, Jürgen Klopp, um, gave me a call and it was a wonderful conversation because um, a full-time role, a full-time nutrition role was never has never been in place at, at LFC before. There were a lot of consultancy positions, so uh, it was a kind of a new start as well. And, um, and the combination of wonderful city vibes and the opportunity to create something at Liverpool Football Club was just amazing. Working so close with so many lovely people, they can feel the passion, you can feel the dedication. Um, that's just incredible and I think we all know when you put love and passion into something, you, in our context, you can smell it <laughs> or taste it. But I think that's a very, very a special thing um, from the Liverpool squad and also what the manager is giving them. Stay positive, stay, stay happy in a way. And you can see it on, on, the, on the yoga sessions or fitness sessions they're doing together. And there's a lot of banter. There is a lot of happiness included. And I think you can feel that we are all really connected. And I think that's a wonderful thing to see that a team um, which is going through a hard and rough time in a way um, still sees it very positive.